Well, welcome to another fast-paced segment of the Weeders Digest radio show, and I'm your host, Bruce Wallstrom of WeedersDigest.com. And today our special guest is one of our incredibly resourceful partners. We've got Jerry Davis of AquaCleaner Environmental with us today. And Jerry, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks, Bruce, for having me. We appreciate the opportunity. Well, great. And um, I'm glad to have you here, too. So let's just get right to it. We've only got a few minutes. So um, let's get started. Tell us a little bit about AquaCleaner Environmental. Well, AquaCleaner Environmental is a waterfront restoration company. Um, our premise is to offer real sources of remediation to solve a variety of problems that people are having in the water. Gotcha. So, and, and tell me about now you've got a number of different um, options for um, what you call dredging. So, w let's just walk through those. Well, we offer two types of processes. One is suction harvesting. The other is known as suction dredging. Suction harvesting is simply going underwater and extracting invasive and unwanted plants by the use of a special type of suction device which extracts the plant in its entirety and its rooting, <clears throat> and its rooting system. We also take out the years past plants, which we found offers the best means of reducing the growth of these types of plants. Suction, harvest, uh, suction dredging is a form of dredging where we actually remove the accumulated organic sediment and pump them out of the water, just like any other form of dredging, but ours really is the focus of the organic sediment, not necessarily altering the natural bottom. Mm -hmm. Now, I've had a chance to see some of these results uh, that you've shared with me in the past, but tell us a little bit about the results that your customers have seen with a suction harvester. Well, suction harvesting can really solve problems in the water. You can use it for something as simple as removing leaves and sticks and debris that's accumulated in your shoreline property, and you can also use it 